Hardy had envisioned shot for shot the movie in his head that he knew what he wanted to do. He had already read the book and that he wanted to keep it uh, as, uh, as close to the book as he could. He knew what he wanted to leave in and, and, and take out. And then, you know, of course, Blatty, all of a sudden, the author of The Exorcist comes to him and he's like, look, I've already written this, this screen, the uh, written for the screen version uh, of, of my book. And so Friedkin, again, crazy hard ass that he is, he reads it and is like, this is all wrong. This is not your book at all. I, we can't do this. <laughs> and so he proceeds to go through the go through Blatty's book and highlights everything the way that he wanted to do it. Um, and, and essentially, you know, gets his way. And um, uh, I would like to think that he was he was he was correct because look what we got is there anything that stands out in this uh as far as that we haven't talked about what actually happens in the movie uh yet but is there anything that uh, <clears throat> stands out to you dude i i mean I, you could you could pick anything really but um i guess just the the all those scenes with her in the bed just that imagery dude and just her, I think what, what like kind of freaked me out so much <clears throat> when I first saw it, you know, when I was, you know, 13, 14 years old, um, was the fact that it, 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 what I was watching on screen was happening to somebody just maybe a few years younger than me. Um, and obviously it's, 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 you know, it's, it's a movie and stuff like that, but it, it's, it, if the like the way i was raised with my mom being catholic and everything like it was very very polarizing and and, and scared the shit out of me so i think that would be the thing that i would pick out to me i think uh what stands out the most to me it would be the uh the 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 kind of ambiguous ending mm -hmm. where um I feel like, well, you can look at it from a bunch of different point of views, but it, uh, obviously, um, Father Marin um, and Father Karras, they are the ones that are hired to kind of exercise this de demon out of, out of Regan and hopefully save her. Obviously, she, you know, or the, the demon isn't complying and things get violent and, and uh, Father Marin ends up dying because he's all, all, already kind of ill and they kind of foreshadow that even when he's uh, you know in iraq and he's taking like this medicine and just looks kind of like he's on his last legs so to speak right and uh so he passes away leaving karis to kind of fend for himself and um karis ends up doing the unthinkable and inviting this demon into him uh as possible the way that i take it is um, maybe like he is trying to sacrifice him, him himself uh, in order to to save this young girl mm -hmm. and um, you know and I love that imagery of like the demon kind of takes the bait and jumps into him and he starts to transform but then before he jumps through that window you see his uh, transformation you know he starts to turn into Bazuzu and then kind of changes back to himself and then takes that kind of leap of faith out the window and if you if you watch very closely there's a subliminal thing where you see karis's uh, mom who is a very very big element of this story her face uh appears uh at the window and then it dis yes. disappears very uh quickly so it's almost like subliminally a asking us you know is he sacrificing himself thinking that he can be reunited with his mother who he feels throughout i feel like he, he he struggles with his faith because he thinks that he's you know abandoned his mother and what kind of you know person does that and has the, all of this weight these conflicting things that kind of make him a more of a weaker target than uh than Marin, you know but uh going back mm -hmm. to to karis he jumps through jumps through the window takes a really nasty tumble down that huge set of stairs um and ultimately what's fascinating to me is he technically is committing suicide which is a sin 
correct? Yes. I think that's that's um I think that's how I took it like especially with how um you know as he you know he falls and the commotion happens and there's people the cops show up and the people show up and the, the father the other priest that is close with him um he notices that it's him and that's why he kind of asks him um basically like do you, you want to you know he basically asks him if he wants to he, he wants to uh, repent for his sins right Yes. Yes. And he kind of like he doesn't move or anything, but he kind of moves his fingers, his hands, kind of taps him a little bit on both questions. So yeah, I definitely see. I definitely feel like he he, he did, yeah, you know, commit commit suicide and do that. And that was the point. But then Dyer is you know, kind of relieves him by he confesses his sins and therefore is forgiven, mm-hmm. right? And you know, in his last pretty much his, his last breaths um and then he you know in those actions ultimately uh save linda blair's character Regan. yeah i don't i don't you know what now now that i'm thinking of it obviously when he's um when the priest sends him back downstairs or when the father sends him back downstairs and and Regan's um mother chris asks him is he going is she going to is she going to die right that's what she asks him yes um and he looks and tells her or does he nod and just say no um i think he deep down inside he believes that there was no saving her and like once he know once he walks up those stairs and goes through that th- those doors and sees what what has happened he realizes that there's not going to be if he can't do it there's no other way. And I think that's when he decides to do what he's going to do. Did you, uh, were you aware of that, that story that happened, uh, going back to that kind of the, the climax when they're at the bottom of the stairs and Karis has already injured himself, uh, pretty fatally. And, and then father Dyer is like, uh, tending to him, I guess for that scene, he wasn't showing the emotion that going back to Friedkin that Friedkin wanted. So then, uh, he, you know, William walks over to him. Uh, William O'Malley is the actor's name, pulls him aside and he goes, what's wrong? Why can't, why can't you do this? And he's like, I don't know. And then, uh, you know, Friedkin looks at him in the eyes and he goes, do you trust me? Yes. Do you love me? Yes. And he fucking winds his hand back and slaps him across the face. <laughs> And, not and, be fucking and, laughing. Yeah, <laughs> and then pushes him in pushes him into the shot and that's the that's what that's that's how he was able to do it Fuck, that's insane only in the 70s <laughs> right. telling you man the wild west but i mean they produce some goddamn good stuff look at the shining man <laughs> i know look at fucking 2001 a space odyssey dude also like I was telling you, man, in the last episode, got to give a shout out to Karis's mother. So goddamn iconic with 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 doing very, very little. But just like her, the little nuances and everything. Demi. Demi. Demi, why you do this to me, Demi? And then when Regan taps into that and then she starts doing it, man. Holy yeah, shit. Dude. He's like, you're not my mother. <laughs> totally iconic dude we haven't even talked about the 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 original one sheet the poster for this the artwork that they chose where it's just father Marin when he gets out of the taxi and he's in standing in front of the the house and it's just regan's you know bedroom light on and then the the kind of lighting shining perfectly on him Mm -hmm. it's been ripped off so many times so goddamn embedded in pop culture dude yeah, I know that's that scene, dude. Would you say that's one of the better, um, better movie, you know, movie posters of all time? Yeah, hands down. Soup again, super simplistic, uh, but you know, and like I said, like it's been, it's been riffed on since its inception for years and years and years, and everybody 
It doesn't matter if you haven't even seen the movie. You get it. You know? Mm -hmm. Him with the god that damn briefcase. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Speaking of uh, Max uh, Sidow, R.I.P., he's really, really good in this, too. Um, yeah, he is. The, the couple scenes you, you do get of him in the beginning and the very end. Yeah, because he kind of disappears and then he comes back, you know, towards the towards the middle end, I would say. And um, uh, I guess you know, you, you remember that scene because you just you just watched it earlier today, correct? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, where he's like, he finally kind of stands his ground and uh is is you know he's like i command you you know at the with the power of the holy spirit and everything right talking about the behind the scenes stuff i guess he kept doing that during the takes and he wasn't having that power that stride uh that freaking again uh, wanted so he he pulls him aside and he goes, "Hey man, like wh- what's going on? Why can't why can't you do this?" And and Sido fucking looks at him and he goes, "You know, I think the problem is that I just don't believe in God." Oh, it's like, "Yo, that's some heavy ass shit, dude." Jesus. <laughs> but because um obviously Sido even then was a, a kind of a veteran in in the industry, he had, uh, I forget the movie, the name of the movie, but he had portrayed Jesus himself in a film before. So Friedkin kind of, <laughs> yeah, Friedkin was like, yo, but, but, but you played Jesus. And he, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and out looks at him still dead, dead in the face. Yeah. But I played him as a man, not as a God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so then Friedkin super kind of taken aback by this these statements he goes okay right, well i want you to go back in there and i want you to to play that and play you know marin as a, as a man all right so then he takes a little break he comes in and again he gives the performance that we see uh on on screen and he fucking he murdered it yeah shout out to all the 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 again the green the green vomit scenes uh no, the one that gets me is the one because it kind of looks more like fucking real, like boogers, is when she fucking spits on him, <laughs> on 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 the father as soon as he's starting to to, to say his prayer. Mm-hmm. That one always gets me. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Like I watched it today, earlier today, like two o'clock in the afternoon, dude, folding clothes, and it just it did not sit right with me and like you said earlier like it's just one of those movies you cannot watch a couple times like if someone legit looks you in the eye and says this is one of my comfort movies like you fucking run the fuck out of wherever you're at because i cannot see anyone taking any comfort in any any part of this fucking movie yeah red flag red flag (laughs) and you know what i was thinking kind of like super obscure side side note with all these like horror video games being made wouldn't this be fuck wouldn't that be like something you would you could see being made you being like the the exorcist absolutely absolutely and 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 something that's super original again about this concept is that the the fathers are looked at as the heroes of this you know, and I feel like that's not every that's n- not done in the way that it is in this movie a lot. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, f- I feel like they're they're presented in, in, in a good light in this where they're the only hope. Um, well, just like the like how you just mentioned the the, the, the movie poster, like it's kind of lit that way. You know, it that is the exorcist. He is the exorcist. Right. And, and it's it's almost like. Every time I look at that movie poster, obviously because now, you know, even after that first time me watching it, you know that he's the kind of the good guy to come in and try to save the day. And I think you get a lot of that in that poster. Yeah. Yeah. 